it's actually amazing how those people act in the name of human rights. You have a small group of people, sometimes just choosing to break the law, some of them, not all. And they can easily arrange for themselves a system of legal protection that nobody else had, only just by calling it a Human Rights Defender Fund. During the 2016 United States elections, the country was shocked by Russia's possible involvement and interference in the voting process to support Donald Trump. But what if we were to tell you that foreign money is being transferred to Israeli organizations in an attempt to influence Israeli decision-making too, or even to support BDS activists? Well, we're taking an in-depth look into one of the most important human rights organizations, the Human Rights Defenders Fund, an organization that is a home to a refusenik a lawyer who defends terrorists and an anti-Israel activist. You can see uh, Khulud Badawi, which worked for the UN and got fired after publishing uh, just, just lies in Twitter against Israel. You can see Saar Vardi. She's the leader of a refusenik uh, movement, uh, people that, that uh, don't want to uh, serve in the IDF uh, because of their ideology. She actually works. She's getting money from one of the biggest BDS organizations in the US. According to their website, the fund's main work is in the provision of legal aid and defense to human rights defenders. Only that their activists show alarming connections to BDS activities and other campaigns against the state of Israel. A few months ago, a prominent Israeli journalist published a tweet where he acknowledged that he was getting legal help from the organization, and he revealed the disturbing indirect connection between the European-funded organization and the Israeli media. But if two journalists are fighting each other, on an issue that I care about, I want to know who are the bodies that are protecting them, protecting them and also working with them. HRDF receives more than 50% of its annual funding directly from European countries, including Switzerland, Spain, and Denmark. They don't understand the industry of providing endless money without any check and balances, without any transparency, without any accountability to a very close circle of NGOs. The scale of involvement of foreign countries in the Israeli internal public debate is unprecedented in the democratic world, and Human Rights Defenders Fund is only one example of this influence.